going on everybody welcome back to another tier list today we're doing heroes of might and magic 6 we're doing all of the creatures today i know it's going to be a little bit of a long video but i will try to get through um, all of them pretty quick because obviously a lot of these are just the upgraded versions uh, but please let me know down in the comments where you guys would place your favorite and least favorite heroes of might and magic 6 creatures and don't forget like subscribe check out all of my heroes 5 uh, content with towns and creatures as well and we will be doing um, towns for hero 6 as well as well as um, hero 7 both creatures and towns as well so be sure to check that out and let us get started um, so we'll go we'll just go skeletons first since I see them um, I think they're both B. Um, I don't think they're like the most useful um, tier 1 archers, uh, but they are decent um, as a tier 1 just being able to actually have an early game um, archer essentially as well as the uh, spider web effect that they can cause. Um, it's useful, but you know, not a whole lot of HP. They're very easily killed um honestly they don't really do a whole lot of damage either they're much more just um a tier one nice utility uh unit for necropolis here um ghouls honestly kind of the same um they're not super useful they're just decent uh they're arguably in my opinion they're the most mid a uh, necropolis creature there is for sure i mean they're definitely not bad uh, but compared to like heroes 5 zombies the ghouls are definitely not uh, to that level um, they're all right they can do their job which is kind of just tank and do some decent damage but they're just very uh, mid uh, nothing too crazy there um, we'll skip necropolis there for a second let's go uh, we'll just go these goblins. Honestly, both of the goblins are pretty just useless. Uh, they don't really have much utility. They do okay damage, but definitely on like the lower tier um, of damage. Now, I will put harpies. I think I'm just going to put Harpies in A. They definitely deserve an A. I was thinking S, honestly, just because of that ability to be able to go attack and then come back without being uh, retaliated on is massive. And they're pretty decent uh, for an early game unit. But aside from that, they're not really the best units. Um, but that utility is definitely super, super massive. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that that is one of the best abilities in the game, in my opinion. Definitely lets you go hit somebody really hard and then come back and know that you're taking nothing, which is super, super useful. Um, who do we have? Marksman. I mean, the marksmen are pretty good. I think I'm going to put U and B and then this one in A. Um, I think they're a very strong early game start for Haven. Definitely lets you just essentially defend with everybody else and lets the marksmen uh, kill everybody. Um, but that's just essentially good early game. Uh, value, which is definitely them. They do a pretty good amount of damage, honestly, more than the skeletons, uh, for sure. But you could argue that maybe the skeletons have more utility because of the spiderweb um, effect at times. But that's just um, just a possibility. Um, Sentinel. Um, yeah, Sentinel. I gotta put just kind of mid tier as well. They're not very useful they're literally just the meat shield for haven's backline or just to kind of uh, help kill somebody they're not super great um but they are decent um Med uh, medusa not medusa 
uh, Sakuba, Succubus, sorry. Um, which I think their name is different in this one. But I'm going to give them A as well. Um, I think, honestly, between them um, and the Breeders, they're very, very good Inferno backline. Um, but it is kind of hard to get them. They are both kind of later in the game. To me, Inferno struggles a little bit getting a lot of their units just because of the resources. But that can also be just depending on uh, the map um, and where you are placed. Um, but as far as backline, they both do a pretty good amount of damage, and honestly, these breeders have a pretty good amount of health as well. Um, I think they're they're both pretty, pretty solid. Um, vamps will be our first S tier. I think vampires in this game, honestly, any game, are pretty high tier. Um, being able to regen your health, and they do a massive amount of damage. Um, they don't have the most um, defense or health points, but honestly, being able to regen, why would you? Um, I think they are pretty useful overall. And honestly, I forget their name, but these sharks are, for an early game, just core, basic core creature. They do a pretty hefty amount of damage, um, and they got a decent amount of health pool. Like, I, I've been consistently impressed with them. Um, and honestly, same with the frogs, um, you wouldn't think that they were very good, but for their value as just a basic core creature, they're really not too bad. Um, and honestly, same with Priestess, I'm going to double A tier her. Um, I think she does a very high amount of damage for, um, a core creature here on the, um, Sanctuary team. I think they are very very damaging for being such a low um cost who we got next centaurs centaurs are also double a um i think they're pretty strong uh high amount of damage not the most health but most back lines aren't um i think they deserve it i can't really put them um an s but, I mean, you could argue that they could go there. I think they're they're definitely up there as far as damage and definitely one of the only carries here on the Stronghold team for sure, um, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, who we got left? Let's see. I'm trying to find Ghosts and Banshees. Honestly, I'm going to put them in A, mostly because um, they can't be flanked. Um, so in other games, you have the option of missing your attack against Ghost. In this game, they just can't be flanked, which is a huge uh, thing in Hero 6 and 7, being able to get directly behind or to the side of units and do extra damage. Um, and you can't do that to ghosts which makes them pretty um useful and they do a decent amount of damage for a core creature they're it's definitely much more of a utility they're hard to um, get rid of and they do a decent amount of damage so they're not the most they're not as scary as heroes 5 being able to essentially constantly miss them miss your attack on them but they are they are very good um Mm. The Lamasus in this game honestly just have never really impressed me. Um, they're decent, but they're not as like big and tanky as you would want them to be. Like they're they're just super mid. They do a, a good amount of damage. You can't really like cry about it, and you can't really cry about the amount of health points and defense that they have. But it's just like not enough to bump them up anymore and it's definitely not enough to drop them down either they're just you know they're just all right nothing too crazy there um we are let's see we'll go with some dungeon since i haven't yet um man honestly i did not really like any of the dungeon units 
I'm being honest. Um, the assassins were okay. I think the Minotaurs were definitely good, but I honestly felt like they didn't have a whole lot of defense. Like, I felt like they always die pretty quick. Um, but they do do a lot of damage, especially flanking. They're high, high tier units for sure. But honestly, all of Dungeon, I was just, like, not... impressed with in the least. Um, we'll, we'll get back to them. Um, let's see, Cerberus um, or Hellhounds. Um, I'll give this one B, I'll give this one A. Um, I think being able to hit multiple units um, and I, their movement is insane. Um, it's very good. They don't have a whole lot of health, but they are very, very good and strong. Um, let's see who we got. We got these pit fiends who are definitely insane. Um, that actually might be devils. These might be pit fiends. Either way, they're they're all super strong. I think Inferno, honestly, is one of the best um, creature towns in this game. Town itself is decent, but um, yeah. Now these whip guys, we'll give them both B. I don't think they're super strong. Um, I am forgetting a lot of these names. I do apologize. I know devils and fiends, and you know, I I haven't played honestly as much of Heroes 6 as I would have hoped. But let's see, we got Sisters, I think they have very high utility being able to do um, some healing. Um, let's see, Jaguar Warriors, not super impressive. Um, These guys do do a lot of damage, but not super impressive either. These lizard dudes, though, I would give both double A. I don't think they're S. I think they're not that strong, uh, but I will give the dragons up to S because they leave the water trail, which honestly you would think is not a big deal, but honestly is pretty uh, strong, or it can be, uh, to really help. Um, Cavaliers, I'll give to double A as well, being able to move so much, and they do pretty good amount of damage as well. Um, the Griffins with their ability is strong, but they're pretty weak, and they honestly don't do a lot of damage outside of that. Um... Radiant Glories, I would have to put double B as well. Um, I forget which one of these. I think I got a double A. I, wish, I forget which one of these is the Snow Maiden and which one. One of these might be Radiant Glory, actually. No, it's not. Uh, but either way, those are... Honestly, fucking Sanctuary is... Creature-wise, to me, probably the best in the game, for sure, as you can tell. Uh, but that's just my opinion on them. They seem super strong. Um, let's see, what do we got left? The Seraphs. Honestly, to me, not super impressive. Um, the Dreamwalkers... I'll give one to A and B just because of their ability, but not anything too crazy. Um, the Brutes are okay, I guess. Oh, that's the Brute. So these are the... What's the other one? 
I don't know. But the Cyclops is definitely strong as shit. Um, but I forget what these guys are called. I don't remember them. Um, the... Spiders... Um, the spiders were okay. Um, I don't think they were anything too insane. But honestly, you know what, I'll, I'll give one of them to S. Um, and honestly, the rest of Dungeon was pretty shit to me. I, I can't tell you how unimpressed I was time to time with essentially all of Dungeon's creatures. Um, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think, where you guys would place your favorite and least favorite heroes of Might and Magic 6 creatures, what you guys think of my list. Uh, we will be doing towns if you haven't seen it already, um, or if it's not out.